Bug one guys and welcome back to be true to their host Mark Luther. In this video we are looking at coin market cap, okay, cryptocurrency market, and today we had a major sell-off, a major crash in the whole cryptocurrency market, anywhere ranging from 10% onwards, and the worst of them, 26%. So uh, what happened basically? So uh, basically Bitcoin has gone down, okay, it is not known why, okay, at least for now. Uh, oh, it has gone even below that level. So uh, it keeps going down right now, and no one knows why exactly. Now I believe the over counter trading has affected somewhat, but there are few things I want to clear up out, out of the way, like GPU mining, the future of GPU mining, Bitcoin mining, the future of Bitcoin mining, and one of my videos. Okay, I got a comment from a guy called Chris. Okay, and he said you were saying okay that's after the bitcoin crash that happened and i wrote on my video and proof why bitcoin will not go below six thousand dollars now anyone would agree that six thousand dollars was the best level okay or was let's say the most supported level okay on bitcoin i mean many ha have been saying like that's one of the strongest levels okay a lot of technical analysis analysts and you know that level cannot go below it and if it goes below that it is danger for bitcoin and you know all that stuff about technical analysis and drawing lines but the fact is after my research of that video what i said in that video is that over the counter trading and that means that people are buying bitcoin you know thousands of bitcoins if not hundreds of thousands that makes sense Okay, there's only 21 million bitcoins, but anyways, they're buying thousands of bitcoins, okay, over the counter, and they are just buying them bitcoins, and the price does not move, okay, that big, you know, and what happened is, it has went against our, you know, our, uh, let's say, uh, thinking, and our research, and all that stuff, if we would have expected anything, okay, coming out of this whole thing, is that Bitcoin had a lot of positive news. You had backed, you had, you know, uh, them futures, you had you had a lot of stuff, okay? And many people were saying, oh, Bitcoin is going to have a bullish future, you know, it is going to go to $20,000, $30,000. But from what I'm seeing right now, it is just all talk. What I'm seeing right now is just the basic form, okay, of trusting Okay, mainstream media in any form or any shape. This makes me really just try to question the the thing that we are trying to follow. I mean, if we're following CNBC news and all that stuff, oh, back is coming, go oh, all that stuff, you know. But then you had to crash like this. This just gives you the idea that this was made on purpose, and it is made on purpose. Okay, if someone says it is not, uh, he's just basically lying. But anyways, what I'm seeing it right now, okay, this basically means that now onwards, whatever happens, the cryptocurrency market, I'm going to be like Alessio Rastani says, okay, a contrarian, okay, because um, at this stage, reaching such a level of trust with these institutions, okay, that are trying to buy Bitcoin in mass, and it seems like they done it on purpose. They made people, okay, believe that, oh, yeah, we're buying over the counter. You see, we are just making a lot of money off this, you know. Bitcoin is going to the 20,000, guys. Buy with us. And then they just sold everything and they destroyed the whole market. So, basically, I'm going to change this title, okay, guys. And, Chris, what I'm going to say is that this video was filmed back in 31st of October. That, okay, time... Is is much different from now, Chris. There, a lot of things have happened in that time frame until today, 14th of November. So, uh, I'll change this, okay. But as I'm saying, I'm not okay, not embarrassed, okay, to show the truth, okay. I'm just a human. I make mistakes just like you. So, uh, if you don't agree with what happened, okay. You have the right to say whatever you want in the comments down below. Now, I wanted to talk about the future of GPU mining. 
Now many of you would be asking that I'm one of the most bullish people on GPU mining, cryptocurrency mining as a whole. So let's see the 580 was making. And still my idea of, you know, GPU mining has not changed, okay? Because still we are making profit even in, you know, the 5800 level, okay? It is still somewhat profitable, not as much, okay, but still profitable. I mean, just like that Mr. Sako guy, okay, that said about cryptocurrencies, oh, you just buy Bitcoin, oh, it's just better than GPUs. This is the primary example for buying cryptocurrencies, okay, in a market that is so volatile and so dangerous and so untrusted with institutions playing and gambling on it. This is the basic form of trust I think I can prove to these people. And it keeps just crashing, it's not stopping anymore. Anyways, the 1080 is making somewhat profit, okay, 25 cents. I mean, look, it's not the best, okay, I agree, but it's better than having a cryptocurrency that depreciated such in value. I'd rather have a GPU than you know these percentages going down unless the institutions want to play it dirty so basically what is the future of GPU mining it is going nowhere it is going to stay in here it is going to stay embedded in people's you know tradition at least in this community and if it is not profitable for you your mining okay you know your electricity I mean electricity rate is here about the average of the United States so uh, here 12 cents okay you maybe have 13 15 20 okay let's see what 20 can get you okay just for the sake of fun you know some people in Europe have these such a you know costs it is not profitable so uh, depends on your electricity rate and let's see for the people who live in in uh, let's say uh, Eastern Asia I mean, people who are living in third world countries are making much more profit. I mean, depends on their electricity rate. Some of them are profitable, some of them are not. I mean, I'm not talking about Africa. I mean, I'm talking about countries like, you know, Taiwan, China, for example. But anyways, if it is, you know, that profitable still for now, at least for a couple of cents, I think I'm still, you know, bullish on GPU mining. And... Uh, you know, you are mining right now about 25 cents worth of Ravencoin 488 based on Bittrex, 8% down. But here, okay, it is about 483. So um, it's the same number, okay? It does, it, it does crash with, you know, with what to mine. So people don't say, oh, that's on the old price. No, oh, what to mine actually calculates all that stuff. Now, Bitcoin mining. Remember the S15? Still not shipped, still not given to anyone still nothing about this and it is surprisingly that profitable at least till now even with bitcoin going down it's still profitable i mean we are as i said in previous videos we are entering new phase of cryptocurrency mining power efficient miners okay you are going to have all this stuff coming next year okay i predict that but basically, what is my, you know, go on cryptocurrencies as a whole? Let's see this article from Forbes. Bitcoin and crypto market plummets, dealing blows to Ripple, XRP, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. So there are important things that are going down, okay, with at least Bitcoin. And earlier today, a Bitcoin price indicator known as the Death Cross was seen for the first time since December 2014. Coindesk reported so I think this is like some type of you know a compilation of articles I mean at least if Coindesk said about that and here it talks about the trend and all that stuff but there's something important okay earlier this week CZ said he expects another Bitcoin bull run to happen sooner or later even if I don't know what will catalyze a Bitcoin bull run yeah fucking just you no know, a crash Okay, uh, I am s certain it will happen sooner or later something will trigger it now I'm not against what he said okay I mean it will happen and I'm not bearish on Bitcoin I mean if anything I'm the most bullish one because I'm trying to get into as much as possible at these price ranges but you know there's something that makes no sense about the the whole thing that CZ says something before days that this is happening 
it does not make any sense why everything was positive yet became so negative real quick. It just seems how much manipulation is happening in this cryptocurrency market. This over-the-counter trading was just the, you know, the catalyst for the new dark age of cryptocurrency. Dark age where you will see cryptocurrency, okay, trading for just by gamblers, okay, by institutions that are untrusted. I mean, why do you think, like, the last time we heard about, you know, uh, like mainstream media outlets like Forbes, okay, say that, oh yeah, Bitcoin is wasting energy. And then they became so positive, oh, you have now backed and all that stuff. It's just all manipulation, non-ending manipulation. However, this week a report revealed corporate interest in Bitcoin would be could be warning. Now, uh, basically, okay, that's nothing new. Over-the-counter trading was actually, you know, discussed in the community for at least like three weeks now. So it's it's nothing new, mate. It's nothing new. Okay, it was not immediately clear what had the trigger of the sudden sell-off, institutions, what other thing, today, but tensions in the Bitcoin sector are high, ahead of a fork of the Bitcoin Cash cryptocurrency expected tomorrow. So, uh, you have the here about the article talking about Bitcoin Cash, the Satoshi's vision, a Bitcoin Cash core or core Bitcoin Cash, I mean, it's just complicated with Roger Veer and his you know opponents but basically my conclusion to all this what I'm saying is not financial advice and I'm going to change the title of this video because it just shows me that you know in the cryptocurrency market you cannot really trust the conditions however you know whatever you try to actually calculate it it's just going to be manipulated and after the 2017 trigger I believe that reaching another bull run Okay, happening is quietly slim at least in December I mean this crash okay must be used against us but I think we should buy at this level uh, it's not financial advice I'm saying this three times not financial advice not financial advice and not financial advice it's a suggestion I'm going to try to buy cryptocurrency okay I'm going to try to enter the market at these levels Five thousand eight hundred dollars is seems like really interesting, okay, you know. And some people have said I'm going to buy at four thousand dollars. And this, you know, there's another thing about the cryptocurrency community saying that oh yeah, Bitcoin cannot go below its mining price. Who said that Bitcoin cannot go below its mining price? Okay, if now we have, you know, the likes of Silicon. Okay, they have the T thirty something. And now you have the S15 coming. So, with power efficient miners, we can expect Bitcoin to go lower. Okay, if the institutions want to play it more dirty, they can pump it up really quick. We just don't know. There's something makes no sense about this cryptocurrency market anymore. If there's something that is negative going to happen, I'm going to do the positive. And there, if there's something going to become positive, I'm going to do the negative you know trying to go in the opposite wave so thank you guys for watching this video from bit truth your host mark luther seeing me ranting about cryptocurrency market in the dark ages let's reload oh yeah it pumped like you know a bit 0.20 percent but anyways guys see you guys on the next one